What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome. And pretty interesting video right now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Dragonov. Those of you who started out Tekken with Tekken 7, you probably know Dragonov as a wild running to spamming Russian Spetsnaz maniac. And uh, with some pretty interesting gameplay, there is some, you know, difficulty to him. But he actually used to be a very hard character to play. Lots of execution required and I thought I could just demonstrate this uh, with this really neat Hollywood effect here You see I Have both of the games running at the same time <laughs> Pretty nice. So that's tag 2 versus Tekken 7 Dragonov as you see here So for example in uh, in Tekken 7 when you get a counter it while running 2 the opponent sta stays right next to you and we can just do la 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 la, back one, two, or whatever. You, you can literally do anything here. We can even, even free one. Uh, so what does this look like in tag two? Well, boom, they fly far away from you, far away. So every time you got to counter it here, you had to do a sort of forward sway by pressing down and then, then not doing a full quarter circle forward. You press down and then you held uh, down forward and you would get a sway and then you release tap 4 and you would get a while standing 4. I'm making this look very easy. Uh, <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. You're recording for YouTube. Shut up. God, why do I always jinx myself so much? Um, but again, I'm making it look easy because I'm the main man. But th this was actually very, very technical. And it was one of these cool things where when you saw a Dragonov player land that against you, you were like, okay, you knew. He's legit. This is very hard. And it made a lot of people interested in Dragonov. Me as well. Because... While running to such a key move, and you needed so much technical skill to get the most out of the move. Because you did want that combo. So, this was one of the things that made Dragonov super interesting to me. You would even see JDCR drop this once in a while. He really liked Dragonov. He still really likes Dragonov. Come on, it's one of his mains in Tekken 7. But, um, yeah, it, it kind of bums me out that they uh, removed that. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at his bound options. As you know, the combos are very easy in Tekken 7. Back for free, basically always works very well, high damage. It gives a big uh, bound where you have a lot of time. It recovers very quickly is where I'm getting at. You can get in there and really follow up with anything. Uh, and you don't really need to use forward free cancels very much. Whereas it was kind of the opposite actually for uh, Dragonov in Tag 2. He was heavily, uh, heavily he relied on Ford Free cancels. I'm not saying you're not supposed to use those in, uh, in Tekken 7. You still need them to get the max out of a character, but you, you don't really need them. Uh, it, they're not crucial. In Tag 2, you, you had to do that shit. And your key bound move is one of the slowest recovering main bound moves in Tag 2, Ford for 2. And it has a really weak hitbox, so it was actually hard just doing jab into bound like this. is actually pretty difficult. You see that whiffing? It looks like it should hit, don't you think? Wait, wait. It looks like it's got a very deep hitbox going downwards, but it's very, very small. You, you have to place it very well after the jab, like immediately, or it would drop. So this was actually very sensitive to lag. And not only that, but it, it recovers so slowly that dashing into 3-1-2 is actually quite difficult. This is very easy to drop. And of course, if you wanted wall travel, like that, and again, it recovers so slowly, you can't really do the, the really good wall travel moves after that. Uh, so this is where forward free into uh, sidestep, uh, well, crouch cancel, uh, sidestep cancel into four free. Almost became a must in this game. So, uh, oh shit, sorry. 
this one. That recovers very quickly, and suddenly we can actually do very easily 3-1-2 or any ender of choice. That was a great way to bound in this game. But again, much more complicated than anything you would do it with Dragonov in Tekken 7. So this is forward free into, into the step. So you hold down forward and then sidestep cancel for free. So that's how technical you had to get with his combos to be able to get anything really good out of them. Uh, and then uh, the snake edge. This is super interesting. It, of course you know in Tekken 7 that uh, you can actually bound from the snake edge. That, that's a pretty big deal. So, so back one two, wow. Um, you, you get a bound combo. There is no such thing in, uh, in Tag 2. All you get is this. It's still pretty decent. But yeah, the, does it help in Tekken 7 to have a launching uh, snake edge where you get a proper combo? Yeah, you, you bet your ass that's pretty damn good. So that also makes Dragonov way easier. But they actually removed the need to crouch cancel here. Which is also something quite technical that a lot of people have a difficulty doing. Here, no crouch cancel, down back free. He automatically shoots up with his back, stands up. So I can just tap down too here. Just tap, no crouch cancel. Now, if we go back to uh, tag two, I, if I get a down jab if I just tap. Because he does not shoot up with his back automatically. No, if you want to do the mini juggle, so that's not a bounding juggle, the mini juggle, you have to tap up to crouch cancel quickly and then do down two. Do you see how all of these technical elements add together to create a very complicated and hardcore character in Dragonov? Uh, the last example I want to show is um, this string, down back two, one, two. Uh, mid, 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 really cool, uh, on, on counter hit, uh, of course, oof, oof, you, you get a follow up, um, and in Tekken 7, you can just do down 2 while standing 4 into back 1, 2, uh, it usually works quite reliably, like so, and you get a, a combo, uh, in, um, in Tag 2, you can do the same thing, like this. And you can do that in Tekken 7 as well. But if you want to bound here, just like I just did in, uh, in Tekken 7, doing this. But that is not bound here. And Back 1, 2 doesn't have the same hitbox. If you want, no, if you want to bound in Tag 2, you have to do a super fast... Uh, um, sway while standing forward, just like after the counter hit while running too, but here it, ha it just has to be lightning fast to combo. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, I, I'm getting a miss input. <laughs> I'm getting upward forward. So that's basically it, but that didn't combo. The, the combo counter reset. Oh, I did this like once in practice. Well, not once. I've did it. I've done it many times. But prior to this video, I just tried it and I, I got it once. But I'm getting this miss input where he actually gets up for four. That's a pretty dramatic miss input, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's very difficult. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope this was a little bit eye-opening. Those of you who have never seen Dragonov in prior games, like he was very technical. He was not uh, the pretty easy beast he is today. He was a very hardcore beast. Oh God, that sounds lame. But uh, so I hope this was interesting and I hope you have a nice day. Take care.